Terrence Bud Crawford ain't nothing but the new Manny Pacquiao. He's the black Manny Pacquiao, and I'll explain that in one second. But it's the Boxing Clinic and more, dropping some boxing gems and knowledge on top of your dome real quick. And uh, what I mean by that is, you know, uh, how Manny Pacquiao was um, really a figurehead for top rank for years. You know what I'm saying? You know, he just went out there and did the job that Bob Aaron wanted him to do. You ask Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather, or another opponent, whatever my promoter wants me to do, I do. You know, that's what he going to say, you know. You know, and that's Terrence Crawford. He's a yes nigga now. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Master Bob. Yes, Master Bob. That's what he is. He's a yes man. You know, he didn't want to start Bud, Par- Bud Crawford promotions for whatever reason that is. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to do it, you know. And he could have just started Bud Bar- Crawford promotions, hooked up with somebody that knew the business of the game, and he could have got his own deal with ESPN and had a little co-promotional thing with Top Rank, and that would have been fine. But he happy in this situation, and he's just going to be like Pacquiao. You see Pacquiao suing Bob Graham. You think Pacquiao ain't milking Terrence Crawford? You think Pacquiao, you think, uh, I mean, Bob Aaron made milking Terrence Crawford like he was milking Pacquiao. You know, yeah, he milking the hell out of him, man. You know, you know, uh, Bob Aaron is stealing, is stealing money from Terrence Crawford somehow, some way. You know what I'm saying? And long as his, his manager, Bo Mack, is getting his cut, he don't give a fuck. Truthfully. It's a ruthless business game right here, man. And, and, um, and that's what it is, man. And that's what it is. You know, he out here begging Bob Aaron for fights and assuring he 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 assuring the fans saying, Mark my words, them fights gonna happen. He assuring the fans off the strength of what Bob Aram said. Off the strength of what Walt Disney and ESPN telling him. It ain't off the strength of him communicating with, with the PBC guys to see what's going on. When he said that, he didn't he don't he don't know the ramifications and the implications that that Fox and that Showtime deal had. Errol Spence told, spoke for all the PBC fighters. We're not going over there. You got to come over here. We got three belts over here. What, we don't care about the WBO belt. If, if we don't become undisputed, so be it. We got three belts. And that's what people don't understand about the situation. But Terrence Crawford can't do what he want to do. Same thing for Manny Pacquiao. He had no control over his career. They might say we gave Pacquiao these fights to pick. It was all about what Bob wanted. And when Bob couldn't get Pacquiao to do what he wanted to do, they sent Michael Kahn's to make sure the shit happened. And it's the same situation. The game don't change, it's the players in it. Some of the players. Pac- Terrence Crawford starting as Pacquiao, Bo Mack starting as Michael Kahn's, Bob Arum's plant being Bob Arum. It's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? He don't have no control. He only can just hear what Bob say and do this and do that. Okay, it's going to happen. Bob be, be lying. He said Mikey and Lomachenko will happen next year. That's not what Mikey's saying. That's not what the street's talking. That's not what the industry's saying. For years, for years, they didn't give you the Mayweather fight. It was they was they fought for not giving you the Mayweather fight. Fuck what you heard. That was they fought. And when when Pacquiao numbers hit rock bottom, then they made the Mayweather fight when it was lucrative for them. Same thing for Bob for Terrence Crawford. The difference is here. The difference is you don't have two two welterweights. That's that's at the end of their career or or at the end of day at the end of day weight spectrum. You know what I'm saying? You got you got Errol Spence who at 47 who can move up to 54 and probably got the ability to move up to 160. He ain't gonna be at 147 at, at for five six more years like they milk Pacquiao or Mayweather. It's not gonna happen. And it's always one common denominator and and, and fights not happening. It's Bob Aram. It's Bob fucking Aram. You know, if he feel his fighter is going to win, he'll put him in there, but not right away. Because Bob Aram ain't spending that cash that the, that the network is giving you on two A-sides. He going to milk that shit. He going to play his A-side and find a C-side fighter to fight him. It happens. Look at Gilberto Ramirez's career. Look at Terrence Crawford's career. You know what I'm saying? Keep looking at the careers and keep going and looking at the different fighters. You know what I'm saying? Crawford is just in the same position as Manny Pacquiao was in. And he like it. He like it. And there's people out there that's getting hoodwinked. Oh, Bud won't it? Earl ducking Bud. I mean, come on, man. If Earl fight Mikey in January, then fight Sean Porter, you know, then he keeps starving. Then what's the narrative going to be? Oh, he's still ducking. He's still ducking. I'm telling you, a lot of people go with the narrative of going with top rank because there's so much hatred 
and so much animosity towards Premier Boxing Champions. Premier Boxing Champions gave you the best fights this year, and people trying to trying to still say ESPN did. ESPN didn't give you one great card this year. They best card ain't probably a top three or four card on Premier Boxing Champions with their limited dates. It's just a narrative. I heard somebody say, well, Al Hellman only support black fighters today on Facebook. And I'm looking like, what the fuck is you talking about? Al Heyman, the number one protected fighter is Leo Santa Cruz. He named his son Al Santa Cruz. Number one fighter, is, is, is one of his number one favorite fighters is Leo Santa Cruz. Abner Mares, Carl Frampton. The list goes on. Luis Colazo, Danny Garcia. Al Heyman just don't have black fighters. Everybody eats over there. You know? So don't fall into that, that, that trap and, and, and the narrative of that. And I'm telling you. The same position Pacquiao in, it's the same position Crawford is in. He ain't fought nobody of substance in my, in, in my opinion. Victor Postal may be the only one that I respect. Gamboa was a blown up lightweight, was having trouble at lightweight. Everybody knew Gamboa wasn't a good lightweight. And he was giving Crawford the business, you know. And that's just my opinion on the situation. But like I say, man, he a black man, he Pacquiao. And he love it. He happy with getting three million. He think he's gonna be a pay per view star by fighting on ESPN. The ESPN viewerships has been shitty for boxing. You on basic cable and you can't pull three to five million viewers. HBO at the dark was pulling five to ten million in his heyday every Saturday. But a lot of people don't know that because they don't know shit about boxing. They don't in my Roger Mayweather voice and they don't know shit about the past. But it's the boxing clinic and more. Y'all know to check the links in the description. We on full on all social media. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Y'all know what the business is. Make sure you go check out my brother CB Sports TV putting in work. And also my brother Colossal Sports TV. Sub to them. Y'all know what it is. We gone.